What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Marco Chino from Marcelo DC Black Belt 5 Time World Champ Big Us. Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you already subscribed and if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because I create this channel for you to help you elevate your game. There's a ton of details to help your view to grow. Okay, so on today's lesson, once again, I have, I'm very fortunate, very appreciate that for you guys for requesting those videos. And today's videos, one of the top requests was uh, uh, a finish from Headlock, which I'm gonna present to you guys the Cowboy Choke. Very effective, very sneaky, okay? So make sure you watch until the end. And then also I'm gonna connect a DOS choke from there, one of my favorite ones, if the cowboy choke doesn't work, okay? It's a very, very good way. Um, before we continue the lesson today, make sure you subscribe the channel, like the videos, and comment below. I appreciate your support, big os. We're gonna start from here, on a toilet position, traditional way, seat belt position. As you guys can know, right? So seat belts, good to understand. Now we're gonna go for the headlock position. When one arm is in the front of the shoulder and the other arm is behind the person's arm, okay? So maybe he went for a double leg on me. I sprout with the headlock, stop him from coming close to me. Headlock position, okay? Sometimes it's very tight right here. What am I gonna do here? So it's gonna be like this. Push up, man, for a second. My arm that's under, I'm here. So I'm gonna use these hands to open up and I'm gonna feed four fingers grip right there. Just like this, not too far deep, not too deep, not too shallow, right here around his collarbone. Okay, that's how this first grip is gonna be, but it's hard to see from the outside, for, uh, for far away. So for headlock, now I'm gonna open up, feed my first hands right there. Okay, so that's gonna be our first grip. So I'm gonna headlock position right here, as you guys can see, I'm putting weight on, on that. Now I'm gonna open up, feed my first hand. You guys can see, first hand goes right there, okay? See it? Now my second hand, what I'm gonna do with my second hand, I'm here with a good base. My second hand goes palms up, right neck to his, right on the side of his neck. Not on the back, on the, on the right of the center, but a little bit on the back. That's enough. So from here, I'm trying to go to the back, I open up my first one, feed my first hands. Not too deep, not too shallow, remember that. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I can turn around to get this grip. Four fingers grip, right there. So now, this elbow gonna go straight down, and I'm gonna shoot myself right under him, and pull him right on top of me. Lock. Now, from here, he won't expect. He's not gonna roll away, he's not gonna go anywhere. All I have to do is just Pull myself in, and the choke is right there. It's a very sneak choke, okay? So, for example, let's go, for example, uh, stand up. So, we're gonna shoot a double leg easy. I stop. Now, immediately, I'm gonna feed my first hand. Now, my second hand goes right there. See, like, if it's too deep, I use my second hand, my first hand to open up. You see it? So, from here, open up. Four fingers goes in. Don't try go there because you're gonna lose your time. Sometimes when I go here, he might roll away. And now it's gonna be hard, okay? So I'm gonna show a scenario if he rolls away. So from here, I defend a double leg. I open up, feed my first hand. Now I open up, four fingers grip. Now I'm gonna shoot myself and just squeeze. It comes faster, okay? So what happened, Marco, if he rolls away? Fine, if I'm here, I feed my first hand before I pull my second one, he rolls that way. I follow him. Whenever I follow him, what I'm gonna do, my knee gonna go, I follow him, my knee gonna go as a knee cut pass. Place my knee right there, place my foot on top of his legs, and he's here. What I wanna do, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna lose his shoulder. I wanna keep his shoulder into me. Now look what I'm gonna do here. My first hand is in. Okay, what you can do from there, you can just, instead of gonna go here, apply exactly the same choke from top. Collar grip, like far, uh, uh, grip like around the shoulder, as you guys can, can see from here, so the camera can see it. So right here, not the choke, not the collar, right here. Make good grip, I wanna chop, make a good grip. Now from here, tuck my hands in, my elbows in, now I'm just gonna put a lot of weight into the choke, 
and it's exactly the same choke modify away from top which works 100 percent okay now let's move on to the detail that i'd like to show you so that was the detail maybe number two let's go for this number three which combines exact same attack top bottom from here well now let's magic could not get to the color fine all i have to do is move your hands all the way here don't disconnect your hands from here is slide and then from here you slide into the doors from here invest in your jiu-jitsu today there is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up there is three lasso guard instructionals one for each needs there is winning double knee position everything starts from the knees there is a half guard plan how to pass the half guard there's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the last guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfnx.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. I could not get, maybe I didn't feel comfortable get the collar. I want to move myself, my hands around, let him in the base. I don't want him out. I want to go here. Now, I want to roll down first and pull mat around top of me. When I'm here tight, super easy. Look how I'm gonna open my hand, slide, and now I'm gonna get the darts, and I'm gonna walk into him, and now the darts get tighter, okay? I don't wanna knock him down, I want I want him on his base, and I'll pull him into me with my hip and neck to his tricep. From here, I slide and pull him into me. Lock and walk, and now the choke, is right here. The darts is very nasty choke. Same idea, go back here. A modified version from this that I believe that you guys are never gonna miss a headlock scenario. From here, whenever I'm gonna go from here, what I can do, when I start going for the collar, for example, I go for the collar, boom, and now Matt start roll, rolling away. I follow him, keep his shoulder with me. Now from here, since I have his arm on the front, I'm gonna let go the car choke. I'm gonna slide, pull him. Now go for the top. Switch my base, hook the leg, and now finish with the darts from top. Okay? So, for example, when I go, go back up. From here, well, I can go here, right? I can drive him that way as well. Now, from here, I fold his, fold his head. Luck. Now I just gonna turn my hip in and hook his leg. Now once I hook the leg, I just gonna squeeze it in and get a tap. So those are the scenarios that I want to do for the headlock position. The cowboy choke and the darts works really well. And for beginners, this is amazing because sometimes that's where you lose the control. You just wanna hold it, open up and drill down. Okay, so hope you guys like these videos. If you like to check it out, my instructionals at BGFNS, I'm gonna put the link right in the description of this video. So thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanted to check it out, any kind of uh, details, just send me a request, and I'll do my best to break down for you guys. So thank you so much.